Hi there, my name is Sandra. I'm the principal broker with the Mortgage Center. A special message to members of the Guelph and District Association of Realtors. So what are we seeing through our office? Well, some really interesting things that I wanted you to be aware of. Um, we are seeing borrowers now come to our office with um, first mortgages, sometimes second and third mortgages. So the main culprits for the second and third mortgages are Fairstone Financial and Alpine Credits. And so the reason why I'm bringing this up is that we're, we're getting calls from people trying to refinance their mortgages to pay out some of these um, second and third mortgages. But what I'm finding is that people don't actually have the equity in their house to do that. And then sometimes they even have additional uh, credit card or line of credit debt on top of that. So I'm bringing this to your attention as a realtor because one of the things that we might find that become more co uh, commonplace when you're selling, and I know this used to, this sort of came out of fashion is mortgage verification. And I know that as a part of your process, you guys have forms where you can verify the mortgages. So if you are suspecting that someone is selling a property sort of under financial duress, you want to do the mortgage verification process primarily so that you know that there's equity uh, so that they can close on the sale and also that there's equity there to pay you for the hard work that you've done. Um, we also have uh, one of the things in our uh, material risk uh, documents that we ask borrowers to review, and this is true for mortgage brokers, is we sort of review all of the material risks related to uh, the mortgage. And one of the risks that keeps coming up is related to changes in legislation and mortgage portability. And it's very interesting because... Um, what we have to disclose to borrowers uh, along all of the material risk is that if there's any changes to legislation in the future, it may impact their ability to port their existing mortgage and that they may be able to incur, they may have to incur a penalty. Now, I don't know if you guys know that most variable rate mortgages are not portable. It kind of depends on the financial institution. And when you're porting a mortgage, you have to actually lock that mortgage in and then port it if you don't want to pay a penalty. And I just had a, a very interesting conversation with somebody last week where they were going to lock in their uh, variable rate mortgage with Scotia and Scotia was offering them 6.1%, but we could offer them 5.34%. You know, that doesn't surprise me because sometimes with banks, the lock-in rates aren't as good as what they should be. And that's why we exist. But the borrowers made about 125000 and needed about a $580,000 mortgage. The thing is that they didn't qualify based on the new qualifying rate. And remember, the new qualifying rate is the contract rate plus two. So if your uh, rate is 5.34%, the rate that you have to qualify on to get a prime rate, uh, prime mortgage, I should say, so like an A-type mortgage where you're getting the best rates, it's the contract rate plus two, so 7.34%. So they had a combined family income of 125000 and they actually didn't qualify for a $580,000 mortgage. They qualify more like a 510000 or five hundred and um uh, 510, 505,000. So interesting because they said to me, well, you know, we made less, less money two years ago. Why can't we qualify for that mortgage? Because two years ago, the qualifying rate was only five and a quarter, right? So I think you're going to start to see some impacts now on uh, mortgage qualification and, uh, you know, people being able to qualify for the mortgage that they feel that they're entitled to but they don't have, uh, they can't because of this qualifying rate. So I also wanted to remind you that as a mortgage broker, we work with institutions that have no stress test uh, mortgage products. We are doing um, more and more of these types of loans. So the clients that you might have that already have a mortgage on their property, they may not be able to port it because they don't qualify so um, just kind of a bit of uh, information for you. Remember, send, the, send them our way first. We work with almost all of the different banks. So we work with TD and Scotia, 
we have access to wholesale banks and we can kind of work through the scenarios for your customers. So they don't get gun shy and they feel comfortable moving forward with that purchase or the sale. We love working with realtors. Uh, if you'd like more information, you can always go to my website at skipthebank.ca and you can click on the right hand button uh, at the bottom of the screen of my website and schedule an appointment with me or uh, just reach out to my office uh, and uh, I'd love to chat with you about anything that you're working on and how we might be able to help. Thanks again for allowing the Mortgage Center to be a platinum sponsor for GDAR. We just love working with realtors. Have a good day.